Hello YouTube, this is Sheila Beautiful Irvin coming to you with an update. Uh, I have actually been on a stall. Yes, a stall. Um, I call it a stall because it's lasted over two weeks. But finally, I broke the stall about two days ago. A friend of mine, Twisky Tees, she gave me some great advice um, because I was getting a little frustrated at first. I wasn't really thinking of what I need to incorporate in the diet. I already kind of figured I wasn't getting my proteins in uh, or enough water. But she pretty much reminded me of what I'm supposed to do because, I mean, I've got the paperwork here. You know, but reality set in and I kind of let it slip. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize all these things that you got to go through until, you know, it actually hits you personally. So she reminded me of a few things I need to do as far as trying to get my proteins in and drinking enough water. Um exercise which I was I'm already doing exercise I do it like three times a week but exercise without protein and water is just pretty much a waste of time I might not be losing I wasn't losing the pounds at first but I was still losing the inches which is still good and I had to finally realize also that the doctor did say that being in a stall was normal it's your body's way of adjusting to its new body. And, I, like I said, I finally broke the stall. And I was stuck at, I'd say, two, for two and a half weeks, I was stuck at 226. My um, highest weight was 252, day of surgery, 237.2. Um, and... Afterwards, I lost down to two, to 226, which is a total from my highest weight of 28 pounds. I was stuck at 226 for two and a half weeks. Bummer. I, I, it's maybe two and a half weeks, maybe two, just two whole weeks, pretty much. I'm in my third week, so I'll say about two and a half weeks. Um, but ironically, Today, I step on the scale after feeling miserable, thinking the world is going to end. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I got on the scale and I've lost 4.4 pounds, um, which brought me to 221.6 pounds. Isn't that amazing, guys? I feel so relieved. I didn't think I would ever come out of this stall or plateau and I feel a whole lot better my husband was like but you're losing weight I, I can see it in your face I can see it in your body but I couldn't just grasp the fact that my weight was stuck at 226 it's just like really I mean am I eating anything I'm exercising I thought I was taking enough water the doctor told me to do two proteins a day and try to eat three times a day, but my belly can't even try to even remotely get in two ounces. It's like, geez, when is the relief going to come? But and I've been eating crazy foods. It's like, this is not even, I don't think this is even on my diet, is it? You know? Well, when I was on the diet, what the doctor ordered, it was like, I'm stuck. But once I kind of crept off of it a little bit, I think I um, I had steak from the grill. My husband uh, grilled, um, I forget what he called it, tenderloins or something on the grill. I think that's pretty good, though, because that's a protein. Um, we had broccoli and cheese. I can only eat so much of it, though. The doctor said it was okay because I can only get in so much anyway. Um, but it was a few other little things. 
which it wasn't that much, but I think that's what broke my stall. I didn't, I didn't stick to the diet. I don't know if they call that cheating or not. I'm not sure. I think that's part of what they call the cheating. I'm not sure, but I think that's what broke my stall. Yeah. And it's probably a little bit too much TMI, but trying to eliminate, defecate, or poop, whatever you want to call it, is not easy when you're sleeved or, I guess, for some bypass or whatever. But it takes me over a week or two, nearly a week and a half to even pass a stool. And I think that is so crazy. It's like, oh, how do you get used to this? I'm thinking it's because of so much water we take in or fluids. We take in more fluids than we do meals. So that may be it. And I'm also witnessing ketosis. I think I said what they call it. Ketosis. Um, it's where you're taking in more proteins and very little carbs. So your body starts to go into ketosis, which is like um, you start getting metallic taste in your mouth or cotton mouth or, you know, bad breath. I don't know, but uh, I've never had bad breath. And I was like, I wake up in the morning like, ooh. Didn't. You know, instantly run and brush my teeth. Um, I do the little Listerine strips. Um, I don't do gum. I used to could chew gum every day. No. I can chew it for two minutes and it's like, oh, well, I'll poop and throw it away. But yeah, um, that's not been a good thing. It's not really bad, but it's not something I'm used to. And I can't wait till it's over. Um, other than that, I just want to report the fact that I was in a stall. And me being in that stall was not good. I felt like I was starting to get pissed, really. I wanted to throw that scale out of the window. I took a picture of my weight loss as far as me, you know, me being on the scale. And there it is. 221.6. Excuse my leg, I... Uh, my leg, this leg here, I broke my leg and it's kind of lopsided. Um, yeah, I didn't walk for four years. Actually, three. And they tried to wean me off the boot and the uh, cast. They took the cast off. I tried. I was in a boot for a while. Then I was on the crutches, canes, walkers. They tried to wean me off that stuff. I, I played basketball and everything that day. Then, um... I went to go and look at a house that I was trying to buy and uh, turned around from looking through the windows and all that, seeing how nice it was. Got down, started to go down the, the front steps and got to the last one and I hit the ground. My leg had snapped. And boy, did that hurt. Well, it really didn't hurt until they tried, the ambulance came and tried to move it. And it was like, oh, excruciating. Please don't touch me. But yeah, and that was part of the reason why I gained a lot of weight because I've actually had three surgeries, a break, and two dislocations on that leg. But in two dislocations in different areas. Um, hip surgery, thigh surgery, dislocated left knee, um, tibia surgery, that's the same bone that broke. And baby toe dislocation. So there's a lot going on, on my left side. I'm left-handed, blind in my left eye. It's just all kinds of crazy stuff. And but I'm blessed still. I don't complain about it. You wouldn't even know if you just just by looking at me, you wouldn't even know it. Because I'm smiling all the time. I'm a happy go go lucky person. I don't complain. I just thank God for letting me make it through it all, including this surgery. In this journey that we're all going on together. I appreciate uh, all the support and the love you guys show me on my page. I uh, appreciate um, all the advice that's been given. Especially from Twisky T. Twisky T. She all, she's really been there. She's 
I mean, I can ask her questions, and she pretty much knows what I'm talking about. I know she's not professional, but the advice she has been giving me has been great, and I appreciate it. The girl's God sent. You are God sent. <laughs> but, yeah, I appreciate it all. And I thank you very much. And this is my update here July. But, no, this is not July. August the 4th. July went by so fast. I didn't know that, you know, that this was going to go so fast. I mean, it's the reality of the surgery is really sitting in now. And I've seen plenty of um, changes in me and my body. I'm not going to do a body shot until I have my uh, four weeks appointment, which I'm going into my fourth week uh, on Wednesday. But my appointment is until the 20th, so I'll do my body shot then. Um, because the doctors did the first one during our initial consultation, not the initial consultation, but the uh, preoperative appointment. They did all that then. And so we should have body shots from them then. And I'll do a few of my own. I have some already on Google. If you want to um, be a part of my page on Google you can find me there Sheila Beautiful Irvin at gmail.com um, or at, at google.com um, it's I think it's google.com slash plus Sheila Beautiful Irvin you can meet me there um, and I think that's it I'm just so happy to be out of that stall situation. It got on my nerves. So, this will be it. And I'll be posting again in about... Well, I'll tell you what. I go back to work Monday the, the 11th. I'll post again then to let you all know how I did going back to work. I'll be four weeks out, so hopefully I'll be okay. Being at home and just has been pits because... My husband's like, go online, go shopping, go do something. I'm like, I'm used to being at work with my friends and happy and, you know, having somebody to talk to and laugh at because he works all day. My daughter works all day. My son's gone. He moved out. <laughs> my 18-year-old son moved out really quick, and I miss him. But, yeah, I miss being at work, and I'm so ready to go back. But I will post then to let you guys know how I did. And until then, love, peace, and taco grease. Peace. This is She with Beautiful Irvin, signing out.